Hey guys, I recently made a video about the explosive box spell and the cool things that can be done with it. Well, thanks to a comment by Gramberger, here's a small part two expanding on that. You can actually use them, especially the large explosive box, to much more easily flask or even just move through certain liquids such as Telly, Unstable Telly, or even Poly. Obviously, having Breathless makes this even easier, since when inside box, you can't breathe box, but it can sometimes be a comedy of errors trying to flask this stuff. So having a more effective means of doing that now is pretty cool. If you've ever tried the flask telly before, you know the pain. Like I said, this can be used to move through all the polys as well, but not acid or lava, unfortunately, since those will just cause the box to explode immediately. We're gonna need a metal crate spell for that. You also have to be careful of any of the liquid on top of the box, because you can still be stained by that, especially deadly with poly, of course. Something else you can use them for is building a tunnel through mist, so you don't get stained by them if you don't want to. Maybe not extremely useful, but still pretty cool that you can do that. You know all those hearts and chests submerged in ominous liquid in Luki Lair? This makes obtaining them much safer. And the liquid traps in the mines, like this acid trap here. Whoops! Haha! -ha. Free wand! I mean, that's an easy trap to avoid anyway, but whatever. And then this. Any of these liquid traps you can easily just grab the wand from. Wherever can he be? I wonder where he went. Where's Fury? Ha! You can make little forts in the middle of powder piles. And using telekinetic kick makes it even easier to play with these. An actual useful technique might be to employ these in Heesey Base to escape quickly through snowdrifts if you don't have explosives or just short on time. Just to be thorough, you can also use these to phase through the glass that contains the acid in the vault if you ever want to do that for whatever reason. And if you ever need another little hidey hole, you can phase through these planks quickly. Before we get out of here, I discovered that placing other physics objects in front of the boxes will leave the shape of that object there when you pick it back up which you can then fix like so. This is interesting so far for one reason. Right now, until the 17th of April, 2022, the Noita Community Discord is holding a building competition. So maybe entrants can make use of this to create interesting shapes for their builds. Anyway, head over to the Discord for full rules and info if you're interested in that. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day, guys. Stay safe and happy Noiting.